Hello Taurus, this is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot and I hope everyone is doing well this week. And we're going to be looking into your intuitive tarot reading for the week of May 16th through the 22nd, 2022. Thank you so much for joining me and if you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and help support my channel. Now, Taurus, as you already know, these are general readings, not one-on-one -on -one readings, and will not resonate with everyone. So let's take a look at the cards and energy for your week ahead. First up, the Nine of Swords. Next, Angel de la Nuit. This is a bonus card in this deck. Okay. And the Two of Swords. And last, we've got the Six of Swords. Okay. All right, Taurus. The immediate energy that I'm picking up is you're being guided this week. You could possibly be making an important decision this week. And your cards, your energy, everything is guiding you, pushing you in the right direction. So really pay attention to what's happening around you in the form of like signs and signals. Pay attention to your dreams this week. Definitely there are endings and then new beginnings. And that really makes sense with the planetary alignment right now, the full moon, the lunar eclipse that we had. Taurus, this will affect you greatly. So you could be doubting yourself in regards to something and it's a decision or choice that you're going to be making and you really need to do what's best for you, Taurus. Now your first card here, your anchor card for the reading is the Nine of Swords. So your mental energies are working overtime. You're trying to work something out work through something. It could be an idea, a situation, maybe a problem that you have to solve. And you're kind of working overtime in trying to see the best way around it. You're researching. You're trying to get more information as you don't want to make a mistake. So this nine energy affiliated with the nine of swords is one of review looking at both sides, like the pros and cons to whatever it is you're focused on. Now, this is actually Gemini's card in energy. So there, it could mean like one day you feel one way and then the next day you feel another completely opposite way. So it's a very aggressive energy as this Nine of Swords is ruled by Mars. So it has a lot to do with you being assertive your willpower, your determination. This card is in your anchor card position for your reading. So one message coming through is really pay attention to your dreams at this time. They're kind of bringing a clarity at this time. And on this particular Nine of Swords in this deck, there's something in your life that has become very troublesome to you. As what you see here, this individual in a little music box, and it's broken. She's the dancer inside the music box, and she feels she's never going to dance again. But something, you can see kind of the light coming in here, the moonlight. Something's um, influencing her, telling her not to give up hope and to really rid herself of possibly those negative thoughts because it will only bring about uh, like the worst case scenario. This could be worrying about something, Taurus. But the other thing I'm picking up. And with the Nine of Swords was. There's an important message for you, Taurus. I know last week you had self-care, but the message that's really coming through this week is about looking in the mirror and seeing someone that you should love more than you actually do. So it's almost like um, 
give yourself more credit than what you're currently doing. So let's pull a clarifying card for this Nine of Swords. The Seven of Swords. Well, two things could be happening here since this is a general reading. It could be that you're making some plans, maybe getting a strategy together, and that's why your mental energies are working overtime. And if you are coming up with like plans or a strategy, keep it to yourself, Taurus, as the Seven of Swords. The other way that this can go is that someone around you is doing things behind your back or saying things about you behind your back. It can be someone that is a, a frenemy. They're nice to your face, but behind your back, they're completely different. And I'm really picking up jealousy, just an energy of jealousy. And with this being the seven energy, it's something that it's, it's in your way or a problem that you have to solve that you really have no control over but how you react to it does matter. So choose your words, your actions wisely. Now your next card is Angel de la Nuit. This is the bonus card for this deck, which rarely comes up, but it's funny, it did come up in Aries reading as well. So if you do have some Aries in your birth chart, you might wanna check out that reading as well. You might be getting some messages there. This is a card indicating, um, well, first, it's the angel of the night. And whatever is troubling you right now, this card is turning up, indicating that it's soon coming to an end. And it's in regards to the full moon that's kicking off the week. That is going to have the energy where it's showing you the way. And I picked that up as you know, part of the very first energy that you're being guided this week, Taurus. And you can see here, if it'll come in, you see the phosphorescent butterflies. So anything that captures your eye, anything that's glowing or captures your, uh, your attention, your eye, this is what's guiding you. This could be anything that has an essence where it glows. Take note of that. That's a sign. That's a signal. And what were your thoughts at that moment? This is a card of protection. This angel is coming in to protect you, Taurus, reassuring you that everything's going to be fine. And as we see on our next card, we see the sun coming up. So that's what this angel of the night is trying to tell you. So... Let's pull a clarifying card, see if we get any additional information from this protective angel that's coming in, helping you out, and guiding you in the right direction. Okay, the Hermit card. There's the guiding light. So interesting. If you happen to see a lantern, a lamppost, some kind of light similar to what the Hermit is holding, take note of the messages or guidance or thoughts that you have at that time. That's a message that's coming through. And again, it is the nine energy. It is reviewing and being a little bit more cautious with your strategy here, your plans, and certainly keeping it to yourself. This is um, keeping yourself isolated as there is an energy around you that is coming in as a jealous energy. And when that emotion grabs hold of someone, they are capable of doing things that they normally wouldn't do. Now next, you have the Two of Swords. This depicts a mermaid sitting here. And we have a man here, unconscious, kind of floating in the water. And she's trying to determine if she should leave well enough alone or try to save this individual. So for her, it's a very tough decision. And for you, you could be wanting to have more information before you make a decision this week. But what I'm picking up is you're running out of time. 
This is a card that is ruled by the moon. So after having the full moon and the lunar eclipse, there's an energy coming down, almost trying to expedite you to like get off this rock and head towards the light. So once again, I'm picking up Taurus. You need to think about yourself. This is a general reading. And whatever you're trying to decide or make a decision, whatever it's in regards to, this could be a relationship. This could be in regards to your workplace. It could be a job that you're doing or maybe wanting to work for another company. It could be where you're living. You might decide to change up your lifestyle, but this is a card of everything is kind of like at a standstill and time is of the essence is what I'm picking up. So let's pull a clarifying card for this two of swords. Eight of swords. All right, Taurus, this is a card of illusion. That's the first thing. And of course, what you see here is the worst possible scenario. This is depicting you that you're thinking you're in the worst place possible where you're tied up, blindfolded, you're barefoot, you're surrounded by swords, and it's storming. Wow. That's a grand illusion. You do have options. You do have choices. You just need to make a decision. This eight numerology with this card is abundant. So you do have options. You're just not seeing like what's behind you here, that guiding light. This mermaid is not seeing the light coming up. Kind of, you know, the time is of the essence. So there's something that you need to make a decision about as the energy is going to be coming in. It's going to be gone soon. And there is then this energy of someone around you that maybe sees your potential or knows information that maybe you don't know as of yet. And they're hoping for you to fail. So keep your plans, keep your strategy to yourself. Last card here is usually overall energy for the week ahead. You have the Six of Swords. And here we see this beautiful light coming in, the moonlight. This is source energy. You're connecting with source. Six of Swords is a card of guidance. It's guiding you away from hostile energy, negative energy, unfortunate situations or circumstances, events. Six numerology to this card is one of restoring balance. So really listening to what your instincts are telling you this week, Taurus, in regards to a possible decision that you're making this week. And again, I'm really drawn to this card. I don't know if you noticed. There's that glowing lantern. So for some Taurus individuals, you could be walking down the street, driving in a car. You're going to see this lantern. And what is around you at the time? What were you thinking at that time? There's a big message trying to come through. Now let's take a look at your oracle cards and your fortune for the week ahead. And you actually had two oracle uh, messages that came out together. You have the world and the angel of strength. This very much feels like major arcana cards, big change coming in. Crystal for the week, diamond. Value your self-worth and your fortune for the week. Gong, an exciting event. Okay. Let's go back to your Oracle card messages here. First, you have the angel of strength, 
which is your personal power, your inner strength, very much like the tarot card, the strength card, Leo's card in energy. But it is an indication that there is an increase of power being made available to you. So it's an indication do not be passive and stand in the back of the room. Speak your truth. Take action this week on your own behalf. This is really an indication to um, indicating Taurus, you're capable of taking greater control and directing your own destiny because the power comes from within. It's a card indicating you're going to be making, uh, you're going to be um, achieving real results. And that kind of just blows away the Eight of Swords where you don't think you have any options because you do. And then you have the world card, which is the results coming in. This is expansion. This is uh, an energy of opening up. And we see the man in the picture is just looking out over the bay, this beautiful earth just rotating. So expand your vision. Dream those big dreams. Some of the options that are available to you are ones that you think aren't possible that you wouldn't be able to um, bring about those kind of uh, results. This is a card indicating, Taurus, there's a lot out there to consider. There is a message here for maybe a few particular Taurus individuals in regards to technology. This is maybe creating or expanding to a more global network through the internet or social marketing. So for some Taurus individuals, you need to tap into that resource and go in that direction. And this card's indicating you have unlimited resources available. And now really is the time to think big because this card saying the world is your oyster, Taurus. Kind of that uh, dream, uh, dream big or go home. I think that's how it goes. But that's what keeps coming to, to mind. Now your crystal for the week is diamond. Always love the diamond energy. That is your self-worth. And sometimes we can be absolutely splendid under pressure because that's what diamonds are a symbol of how being um, under pressure can lead to beauty. So it could be that you've been under such a type of pressure that certainly, that could be in regards to uh, the decision that you have to make. But reminding you, Taurus, how special you are, how valuable you are. So it's really not, um, don't be so hard on yourself here, Taurus. Kind of treat yourself with love and kindness and fairness. Uh, developing maybe an assertive style of communication where you're really showing yourself respect and then teaching others to respect you as well. So that could have something to do with that particular someone around you, uh, for a lack of a better term, has kind of been maybe treating you like a doormat. And this could be in front of you being nice and then behind your back, you know, doing that kind of damage. But I'm reflecting back to this Seven of Swords. It's something that's going on behind the scenes that you're not seeing. So if you know who this individual is, you need to eliminate that person from your life once and for all. Because I do feel this is somebody that you've been putting up with for some time. And you need to find a way to let that go. Now, your fortune for the week is gone, and it refers to an exciting event. And we do see this individual striking this big brass gong. So an indication, something very noteworthy is about to happen. And as the card says, an exciting event is in store for you. Now, I know that's very vague, but it's a very successful energy. And I'm going to pull a clarifying card and see if that will tell us any further information. 
Okay. Wow. The seven of wands flew out, which can mean you're up against a lot of different issues or complications, maybe competition or people around you, especially the ones that are saying you can't do it. But the seven of wands once again, this is Leo's card in energy, so pulling on that strength because you're in a better position than you realize you are, Taurus. So dream big or go home because you've got the advantage. You've got the angel of the night watching over you, and your cards are all indicating, look for the signs and signals as you're being guided this entire week, Taurus. So what is it you're trying to decide on? as you've got wonderful cards and energy, kind of giving you the green light, a very big green light. And remember, keep in mind, look for the glowing lantern to show up in some way, shape or form, because there's gonna be a message affiliated with that. And that's certainly gonna help you in regards to all this energy and the decision-making process for the week ahead. Well, there you have it, Taurus. That was your messages and guidance from Spirit from the cards that you received this week. I do hope you have a wonderful week ahead and thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe, help support my channel, and for a private tarot card reading one-on-one, -on -one, my website link is listed below. Love and abundance to my Taurus family.